to take a look at uh, Safari. As more of life goes online, uh, we're spending a lot more time in the web browser. Uh, Internet Explorer is a, a really bad one. Hopefully, if you're watching these uh, <laughs> these videos, you're uh, using a Mac. I want to take a look at um, the new Safari. It's uh, for beta. Uh, Safari 3 is pretty much is very similar, and you, I want to show you some of the some of the things they did with it. But I want to go over called productivity things. Um, one of the things that always drove me crazy about computers is where you know where does stuff go when you download something? Where does it go? Where you know how can you change those things? Where can you find things? Because I I, I think for me that's one of the things that um, when I got started with this, it was you know I just never didn't really know where stuff was. It's on a Mac is pretty easy. The Safari menu, each pro, each application has its own uh, a menu named after it, and that's where you're going to find the preferences. The uh, keyboard shortcut for the preferences is always Command uh, comma. Um, I'm a big fan of um, keyboard shortcuts, but I'll try not to use too many of them during these movies um, because they can get a little uh, they can get a little uh, little hairy. But you get right in there, and this is where the downloads go. Save downloaded files to downloads. Now on a Mac. By default, your downloads folder will be on the uh, on the dock, but you can change it. Oftentimes, I change this to the desktop. You go into other, and then you just pick where you want. Let's say I want it on the uh, on the desktop, I just click this, and then and then it'll save it to the desktop. If I want to create a new folder, then I want to have my um, files go in there, then I can do that. So that's an easy way to uh, get that done. So you know, so you know where your stuff is. Which to me is uh, is is very important. There are other things you can change inside of uh, the preferences. Uh, a lot of the stuff is not terribly relevant. Um, it's sort of minor as far as I'm concerned. But there there are a couple things that you can look in there. And on a Mac, you'll realize that you know you recognize that there's really there are rather somewhat few choices. But you know, they're, and they're and they're kind of easy to handle. And it's easy they're easy to change. And they're for the most part self-explanatory. But that's one thing I wanted to show you that. You can definitely change where where how your things download, where they go, and so when you're dealing with cases on the line, you download something and you need to get to it. You know exactly where it is. Sometimes if I'm working with um, doing a lot of work with Westlaw, I'll actually start I'll I'll create a new folder and temporarily change the download location to you know a particular folder so download all the Smith cases for the Smith you know for the um, Smith file to a particular folder and then go back in and change it after I'm done. So that way it saves a little time in moving things around. Another thing I want to talk about with um, with the web browsers now, pretty much all web browsers have this thing called tab browsing. Now on on Safari 4, there's this little tab here, this little plus button, and you'll notice that on a Mac, the the, the plus button is you'll find it in a lot of different places, and that usually means that you can add something. In this case, you can add a tab. So what that means is you can keep all of you can browse multiple sites and go between things without having 15 different windows open. You can just keep it all in one and you can have um, many of these. In Safari 4, the default um, new page item is called Top Sites. The top sites that you've visited will come up here um, and you can click on one of these to get there. For example, you know, when I go to Wikipedia, you can just go on this one and you open up a new one, you know, Google Maps. And you can keep all these things open and kind of go between them, and it's an easy way. It's a nice way to keep thing, things organized and uh, get things uh, get things done a little bit a little bit quicker, a little less clutter. Uh, another thing I want to talk about: the web is bookmarks. The web is a really big place, and you really and what one of the things that I really I really when I um, started with, with uh, using web browsers more and more was using bookmarks. Now, on a book, uh, you can add a bookmark simply by clicking this plus button next to the address bar. Um, you just click the plus button, and it this little thing pops down. Now you can choose what it's going to be called. We could, you know, if if we're putting it depending on where we put it, we call it WK. If we're putting it on say the bookmarks bar, the bookmarks bar is where you want to put the stuff you use the most, like for like Westlaw and Kitten Courts and so forth. You can put them right in the bar, and when you click add. You can see it, it it pops up right here. So here's you know Apple preloads a bunch of things for you, some news, Wikipedia, um, and some popular sites. But you can get rid of these as well. It's very very easy to do. Uh, you simply if you want to get rid of this Wikipedia because it's too long, it's taking up too much space. We just you just drag it right off, and it disappears in a puff of smoke. Um, on other browsers, you know you could right click, and it'll and you can just choose delete. And that way you can keep your you can keep it kind of neat and neat and tidy. 
the only, there are other places to deal with bookmarks as well, and that's one of the nice things. One of the things I really like about Safari is the way they deal with bookmarks. This bar over here, this little looks like an open book, show all bookmarks. And Safari does a really nice job. They're really serious about the way they deal with bookmarks. So if you, when you're surfing the web, you can, you know, you can bookmark something. Let's uh, let's uh, Google Law Tech here and see what comes up. Uh, all right, so let's say we found this one. We want to, we we think this is a good site, and we want to bookmark this one. Oh, oh, there we go. So Law Tech Publishing, we click bookmark, and we don't want necessarily want it on the bookmark bar, but we want it someplace else. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna put it maybe in news or bookmarks menu. We'll put it there. The bookmarks menu is right here. This is the bookmarks menu. This is where the, the stuff pops down. Now, if you want to, if you're if you're working on a specific project, you're probably going to want to go over here, click this open book icon to get the bookmarks open, and then go down here and click the again the plus button, and then you can put it in a new folder. You know, law tech sites. And then you can keep things organized that way by case, by subject, or whatever, or, or you know whatever you, whatever you may want. This is a great way to do it, and um, I'll show you later. Um, you can also integrate. You can also um, sync this, sync your bookmarks with Safari to your iPhone through Mobile Me, and uh, I'll cover that in a different a different subject. It's pretty it's pretty easy to do. You just go into the um, system, the system uh, preferences, and click sync sync bookmarks, and you'll have all the same stuff on your iPhone, online, and on your um, on your Mac, so that's a, a couple of things about um, about using a web browser that I wanted to show you. I think it's, it helps it helps a lot because I I, I don't think that uh, <laughs> I, I've never liked having a whole bunch of windows open, and this is a, a nice way to keep it organized. One last thing I just thought of, one cool thing that only Safari does, it lets you. Well, first of all, you can drag you can reorder these tabs, you can move them around, you can also drag them right out, click and hold, and then. It come, you can see it comes out like this, and then you can just let it go, and it becomes its own window. And if you if you do that a bunch of times, you know you know you lose the benefit of having of having uh, of having tab browsing. So you can simply go into the window thing here and merge all windows and put them right back together. And then, and then of course you can you can you can drag them out later. Okay.